there Ewa, Tommy here from Budget and Kilburn Cars in Manica. Thank you very much for your email and query in regards to one of our Twitter presses we have here for you to view. Now we've got a few of these in stock as you can see and some more along this way also. Um, uh, I know you're mentioning the status, or do we have the uh, status of the battery? Uh, we actually stopped doing those reports about three years ago now, just because um, all the ones getting done, maybe one in five customers actually asked about the report, and the other four didn't even care. Um, so basically, what it meant is that four out of five vehicles were wasting about 120, 130 bucks back, um, back then on each car. So it didn't make any sense. Um, it, you can get the checks done. It's 225 at the moment at Toyota. Um, and it's uh, about 100 bucks cheaper at 120 or 115 thing is actually at a company called iTech in Manukau here. Now, I know you're mentioning um, having done about a quarter of a million Ks, uh, these cars need to get replaced um, or at least get it checked up on the battery. Uh, this has done half of that, so definitely good to go. Uh, the one that I used to drive had done 170,000 Ks on the original battery. We sold it as it was and it was still good. Uh, first, I'm going to check them on the battery just to make sure and it was still good to go. Um, in our experience here, it's the fully electric older cars like this and Leafs, the much older ones that might have battery issues um, just because people charge until they completely charge, leave them on charge for way too long and then use them all day until they can be empty and that kind of fully 0 to 100 charge which used to be good for batteries back in the early 2000s, I remember um, you know, getting a new power tool or a phone, the, the, the manual said charge for 16 to 24 hours and then drain it completely and then keep doing that. Uh, definitely not good for batteries these days. So that with this leaf and electric cars is not ideal. Self-charging cars like this that aren't even plug-in, they only actually go between 20 and 80%. Even though the display does show 0 to 100, they actually just go 20 to 80, um, which means they last a lot longer. Now, I've just noticed in this video, uh, it does have a lot of cigarette burns, this one. This is the cheapest one we have had for a while at 10,000 bucks plus on Red Cross. You do have the multi-function steering wheel, automatic headlights. It is the aspects of the height adjustable driver's seat as well and does have headlight washers. Um, and with the rebate, it definitely does qualify for rebate of about one and a half thousand dollars. Uh, the criteria for that is a car has to have at least a three star safety rating um, and have I think under 150 grams of carbon dioxide, is it per 100 k's? What does it say here? I can't even remember. Um, per kilometer. So this uh, excretes 98 grams per kilometer of CO2 which makes it well under 150 which gives it one and a half thousand dollar rebate. Um, and that's what he's qualified. The only issue is, is whether the money will still be there when you decide to buy the car. Um, it was on the news a few weeks ago that the amount is coming down, um, not per car, but the amount left over in a kitty, because the government, what they're doing is anyone that buys a diesel ute, for example, that money, the extra fee they pay to buy the ute, goes into this kitty to then rebate the hybrid electric cars on offer. Any questions, give us a buzz. We've been selling cars here for 40 years, and we do sell tons of them. All the best, and take care. See you, mate.